Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take an image and actually have it appear inside an object, like text in this case. So in this example, we have water coming through the word water. And so the first thing we need to do is go out and get an image. And uh, when, we, when we did our image searches earlier for inspiration, it's one thing to take a, a, a clip art or something and look at it and let it inspire you to create your own image. But if you're going to actually use uh, a piece of media inside your own uh, artwork, then it's important that you're doing uh, work with images that are royalty free. And so um, this just means that you, they've given you, the owners of those photographs or images have given you the right to use their, um, their work. And so uh, I'm going to do a search for royalty free images on Google. And what I get is this Google Advanced Image Search, and it's really great. So when I go inside here, I can type in what I'm searching for. And so let's just do a search for water in this case. And then it's got all of these different criteria, which is really great. I'm, I'm not going to change any of these other than this one right here at the bottom, which says usage rights. I'm going to change this to search only for free, free to use, share and modify, even commercially, uh, images. And so this is a, a restrictive search. It's going to search for only those images that really can be used for the purpose of putting in some other work. So I'm going to do an advanced search. And it's going to give me a, a series of images that are royalty free. And these are great. Uh, and I'm going to pick one. I like this one here. I'm going to pick the image and I'm going to right click it and say copy. And I can switch back to my file here. And I've, I've got something ready to go here. So I'm going to right click and hit paste. And this one's kind of a small image, but that's OK, I think, for our purposes for today. So I just make it a little bigger. And I'm going to take, I want the word water to appear on it. And so right now, water is below. So I'm going to use these uh, icons here that allow us to bring the word water above the image. So this is, you use these four to bring something lower or higher in the sort of hierarchy of, of uh, items on your board. So this one's now at the top and that one's below it. And I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to select the image, then select the word water. And when I right click on the word water, I can say set clip. And that's all there is to it. Now, everything outside of the letters goes away. And what remains is inside the word. And then I, I'm just, I've decided to use a, a background because I think it makes the image stand out better. And that's all there is to it. 